Hello grade 11s and welcome to this lesson on how we can use probability in the real world. If the weather report predicts a 60% chance of rain for a particular area, it means that an area has a 60% chance of getting some rain. It also means that there is a 40% chance that there will be no rain. This could be just a light shower or a large storm, but there will more than likely be rain at some point. The weather people look at the previous trends over a long period and make predictions based on those trends. The people at the weather station make this prediction by comparing the current weather conditions of the area to the history of weather conditions in the same area. They then look at the number of times the same weather conditions preceded rain before and calculate the probability of rain in the future. Often marketers will make claims about how effective their product is or how many people like to use it, like this toothpaste. Marketers say that this toothpaste protects against tooth decay by 97%. According to this statistic, what is the probability that someone using the toothpaste will have tooth decay? The probability of not getting tooth decay is 97%, or 97 divided by 100. The probability of getting tooth decay is 100% minus 97%. Therefore, the probability of getting tooth decay while using this toothpaste is equal to 3%. This means that 3 in every 100 people will have tooth decay after using the toothpaste. The statistics are based on research carried out in different parts of the world over a long period of time. Now let's look at road accidents and how they affect the cost of car insurance. In an area where there is a high incidence of accidents, the amount of money paid for insurance is also high. Here is a table that shows the number of vehicles involved in fatal accidents per province in 2005. Gauteng had 3,530. KwaZulu-Natal had 2,923. Western Cape had 1,678. Eastern Cape had 1,367. Free State had 1,025. Bumalanga had 1,541. Northwest had 1,220. Limpopo had 1,290. And Northern Cape had 355. The total number of fatal accidents was 14,908. Now let's look at the table and determine which province will have the highest car insurance premiums. Gauteng has the highest number of accidents, so it should have been the province with the most expensive car insurance premiums. Take a moment to decide which province was the safest to drive in. The Northern Cape had the lowest number of fatal accidents. This means that statistically, it was the safest place to drive. This means that their car insurance premiums should have been cheaper than other provinces. Statistics such as these are often used as guidelines for prediction, but we must always remember that they indicate a trend, not a guaranteed future result. For example, athletes sometimes use drugs that enhance performance. The amphetamine urine test has an accuracy of more than 92,2%. This means that in their research, scientists have found that the results are true for 92,2% of the tests. But this means there's also a 7,8% chance of getting a false result. Because there's a margin of error, an athlete will usually have to do more than one test to ascertain that the initial results were true. Expressions of probability can only predict a trend over a long period. Trends from the past are usually used to determine future outcomes. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Working with Probability task video. You'll also be able to learn more about probability on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.